Okay, so what if we could get Hamilton? I don't mean the musical, but the man, and not just that man, but all those old men who crafted and gave us our constitution to take on super PACs. In 2010, the Supreme Court decided that unions and corporations had a First Amendment right to spend unlimited amounts of money to elect or oppose candidates for public office. That was Citizens United, and that decision stunned America. But just three months after Citizens United, a lower court, not the Supreme Court, decided that if unions and corporations and rich people generally could spend unlimited amounts of money to support or oppose a candidate, they had a constitutional right to contribute unlimited amounts of money to an independent political action committee. That case was called Speech Now, and it's with that case that the super PAC was born. Now, from the moment of that terrible birth, there have been lawyers and scholars who have argued that the idea of a super PAC is just crazy, and in particular, that it would have been crazy to the framers of our Constitution. Scholars such as the amazing Zephyr Teachout have argued that super PACs have created precisely the kind of corruption that our framers were trying to avoid. They promised us a republic quote, dependent on the people alone, where by the people, Madison said they meant, quote, not the rich more than the poor. Now we wanna take those words and those arguments, originalist arguments, about what our constitution was intended to mean to the Supreme Court and give them a chance to address the question, what would the framers think about super PACs? Working with citizens from the state of Alaska, where state law actually gives the voters the right to demand that their election law be enforced, we're going to ask Alaska to enforce their anti-super PAC law against the super PACs that operate in Alaska. And when the Attorney General says we can't because of speech now, we're going to take that excuse to the United States Supreme Court. And in the Supreme Court, we're going to say to the originalists, the conservatives on that court, if you interpret the Constitution to protect against the corruption the framers were against, you would agree with us that super PACs are not required by the First Amendment. You can join us in this fight. As conservative leaders from Barry Goldwater to our own board member Richard Painter have shown us, the fight against corruption is not just for liberals. Conservatives, too, agree that our Constitution does not mandate the corruption of super PACs. So help us spread that word. And if you can, chip in a bit to help us with the cost of this lawsuit. We're going to build a movement for citizen equality that includes all citizens, whether on the right or left. And we're going to get Alexander Hamilton, or more likely my favorite, James Madison, to help us along the way. Join us, and thank you very much.